Happy Thursday morning. Enjoying a warm, hot, tasty beverage, keeping away said coronavirus uh, with our Vike Flare mug. That's right. Uh, get it down below for our friends at Teespring, Producer Alley, rocking out the merchandise. So uh, we're basically going to dedicate this entire day to replacing Stefan Diggs. Because why not? It is Thursday in the off season, but I'm sure the Vikings will sign some like seventh tier cornerback. We'll have to do like like two hours on it. But yeah, I digress. Stephon Diggs gone. Uh, there's obviously a power vacuum in the Minnesota Fighting Vikings passing game. Who's going to be the wide receiver two behind Adam Jerome Ezekiel Thielen? Hmm. Well, former second year, former seventh round pick Ola B C Johnson, the pride of Colorado State University. Go Rams! Be ready to take up that mantle? I think he certainly could. Uh, recap. Uh, so, BC Johnson, just a shade over six feet tall, 204 pound wide receiver out of the Colorado State University. The, um, um, the, uh, the, the proud uh, alma mater of uh, Moses Moreno. Look that one up. Nailed it. Uh, anyway, seventh round pick last year, uh, part of two uh, Viking seventh round pick wide receivers. The other one was Dylan Mitchell out of Oregon. Uh, senior season, uh, BC put up 54 catches, 796 yards, and four touchdowns. Uh, ended up going at the tail end of the draft as sort of like an add-on at him. It's like, it's like Amazon. If you don't have Amazon Prime, by the way, if you don't have Amazon Prime, what's wrong with you? you know, just to get the, over that $35 for free shipping. That was B.C. Johnson, but came in OTAs, came into rookie camp, looked really good. Training camp, uh, I was very impressed. Uh, I think he was far ahead uh, of where we thought he'd be. And also, just looking back as Colorado State tape, there was just a real maturity in his route running, his ability to get separation. It was like, this is not a, a guy who... You no, know, t- takes it lightly. This is not a guy who's uh, coming in, not who's coming in to be a long-term project. This is a guy who's ready to contribute right away. Just an absolute crisp route runner uh, and a very willing special teams dude. And also uh, just getting into like the psychology of it. I-, I loved him because of his attitude. I mean, dude just came in and worked. Nothing was ever given to him. It, it was very uh, lack of entitlement. Mm. Uh, and he never worried about that limelight because at Colorado State, the entire time he was there, he, he was overshadowed by um, more higher profile wide receivers. You look at My- Michael Gallup, who's now a stud with the Cowboys. You look at Preston Williams, who, who was the cat's ass last year in the draft, ended up going undrafted, uh, went to Miami. Uh, and also had a pretty uh, decent rookie season as well. Uh, but he came in to preseason is like... Beast is going to shine. Because remember, there's a lot of question of who's going to be the wide receiver three. Everyone thought, Chad Beebe. Oh, Chad Beebe. Oh, here we go. Oh, it was Dylan Mitchell. Obviously, they drafted Dylan Mitchell before both of BC. So it's got to be that. Or Jordan Taylor. Man, I whiffed on that one. That, that was that was my bad. That, that, that was a little rough. Uh, or who else was there? There was someone else. There was another wide receiver in the mix. But Ola BC came into preseason and was a stud right away. Uh, five catches, 87 yards, and a touchdown in three preseason games. Also, he sat out the fourth preseason game, which is a sign that you're going to make the 53-man roster, which is something very rare for a seventh-round pick to do, uh, which is very impressive. Eventually, he took over the wide receiver three role as Chad Beebe fizzled out. Laquan Treadwell was cut and then was back again. Uh, he ended up starting six games when Thielen was cut. I uh, ended up recording 31 catches for 294 yards and three touchdowns. Now, for comparison, and I, I don't like doing this because, uh, I mean, it's apples and oranges. Every wide receiver is different. But for comparison, Diggs rookie year, where remember he sat out the first three games as a healthy scratch for I don't know why. Uh, 52 catches, 720 yards, and four touchdowns. So, yeah. Uh, Diggs I mean, yeah, Diggs was a Ferrari coming in. Uh, BC, to me, is more like a, like a Toyota Tundra or Ford F-150 or you know, Chevy Silverado. I, I don't want to offend, like, the truck nut people out there, right? Uh, but either way, rugged, tough, dependable. You put 300,000 miles on it without blinking an eye uh, on a single transmission, by the way, which is amazing. But also, you're probably not going to turn any heads at the ball, right? But it is going to be rock solid and dependable as opposed to that Ferrari, which you can't drive in winter anyway. Ferrari, by the way, if you have a Ferrari or Lambo Minnesota, that's kind of dumb. But if I suppose if you have F, FU or F me money, Whatever. Uh, but uh, that Toyota Tundra is going to uh, take a lick and keep on ticking. I think that's Ola B.C. Johnson. Now, Diggs is clear that he had high-end star power, uh, potentially could be a wide receiver one this league. I, I think he still could ascend to those heights. TBD from B.C. Johnson, yeah, we don't have a large sample size, but what I, I do see from him so far is something that I really love. You see a tough kid, uh, a guy who's going to be a very solid wide receiver to possession receiver. He's going to complement Thielen very well, can work on the outside as Thielen works uh, from the slot, and will always stay humble, will always stay uh, have a level head, and, and will always keep the team first. And to me, after digs, it's a bit of a win. It, it really is. And to start, 
uh, to start uh, replacing digs. Uh, I think it will be a sampler platter, whether it be training camp preseason start of the regular season until someone really steps up. But I think it will be Ola B.C. Johnson. I think it will be Ur Smith Jr. working out of the slot. I think it will be rookie TBD or rookies TBD. Uh, by the way, I won't, uh, wouldn't be shocked if the Vikings' current 12 draft picks, if they do double dip at, at wide receiver at some point, uh, I, I think that will be the starting line uh, for replacing Stephon Diggs because I, I think it will take a village at first because, I mean, let's not act like number 14 wasn't supremely talented. And frankly, he did carry the Vikings passing game last year. Put up 1,000 yards on like 62 catches, which is just redonkulous yards per catch. I, I digress. But I, I do think B.C. Johnson with another full year in this offense, another full year with Kirk Cousins, it does seem like he and Kirk do have a little bit of chemistry going on, which, which is nice. And I, I think that there's a chance with OTAs and camps and then another just full set of run with the ones. I think it's going to be great. I think it certainly will surprise some people. I love him. I love BC Johnson. BC Brigade for life. And also, I think he could be the best kept secret in the Vikings passing game uh, this upcoming season. Uh, but your thoughts? Ola BC Johnson, is he ready for the limelight? Wide receiver two? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, subscribe for daily Vikings takes. If you want to support the work, pull us on the Venmo. Please give us a follow on social media as well. But until next time, Skull, production value.